Hi, my name's Mark Wells, and it's good to be with you again to talk about the FES flower essences. And the subject today is relationships, healthy relationships, and maintaining relationships, uh, which we all know takes a bit of work. And today I'd like to talk about some flower essences that I've found, or that my clients over the many years have found really useful when they were confronting challenging times in their relationship or challenging issues. So I'd like to start with bleeding heart. Bleeding heart is one where often the person is very, very um, clingy. Um, if you look at the signature of bleeding heart, uh, of the actual uh, plant itself, there's actually a line right down the middle and it always reminds you of a, a broken heart. And I think often bleeding heart can help someone who's in a new relationship or an established relationship where perhaps they've been hurt before, uh, there's loss that's occurred before, and it's in really creeping into the way they're, into the dynamic of their relationship now. So they may be more, you know, holding on, and, and often the person in that dynamic, the other person, the other partner, friend, whatever, can feel a bit claustrophobic, you know, they can feel that they're not being given space. So there's, it's a really good one just to allow, you know, for them to just sit back, allow the space for the other person and themselves and to heal uh, and then come from that if they're trying to, you know, mend or improve aspects of their relationship. And the next flower essence I'd like to look at is calendula. And calendula is all about, it is about healing communication. It's about adding warmth to the communication. It's uh, helping you to convey the good intent uh, behind opening up discussion or talking with someone. And often the telltale sign is that either the people you're talking to or the person you're talking to is taking offense at what you're saying too easily. You're not able to sort of convey, well, I'm, I'm meaning to say things, you know, perhaps I've used the wrong word there, but it's being picked up and, and found hurtful and vice versa. You're getting offended very easily and it's getting in the road of any really good dialogue. Um, calendula can just help you, you know, convey that warmth, convey the intent that it's, you know, we're trying to get a win-win situation here and uh, allow that to come across better. So it's a, it's a great remedy. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these, particularly calendula, really good for practitioners out there in terms of work with clients. So it's not just, it's all relationships. Yes, it's, it's client and practitioner, but we're probably talking mainly today about uh, partnerships, um, uh, marriage, all, all those other types of relationships. Another one is Cosmos. And we speak about Cosmos a lot. And Cosmos is about having the ability to articulate exactly how you feel. You know, sometimes we can get, we, we can't really convey what we feel about a particular situation. Um, and the other person doesn't know how to react, doesn't know how to respond, doesn't, doesn't understand. So Cosmos can help us get, create more clarity in that about, you know, where your needs are not being met, for example, and to be able to deliver that and say honestly what's, what's happening or what's not happening in the relationship. Lavender is another good one. Um, lavender, as I said, um, if you want to get very esoteric here, lavender is a, a good one for karmic connections. And what I mean by that, you've got a parent and, that, and often I'm a parent, I have two kids, and I, I know that sometimes you will always find one person in the family a little bit more difficult. And then if you sit back and you think, yeah, they're more like me than the other child. And lavender's really good in there, just allowing a person to um, communicate uh, and not get overwrought about it, not expect, oh God, this is gonna be a tense situation. Go into it, you know, with a, a um, a newfound optimism, if you like, uh, in your discussions. But just, it's when you're getting caught up um, and, and expectations are, are really influencing how you're relating to your child, to, to someone else. Lavender can be really good there. Um, pink yarrow. Um, pink yarrow is just, I'm a bit uh, biased towards pink yarrow, but it is about emotional boundaries. Um, and when there is some, uh, you know, 
problems in relationships and in communication it's and, and conveying your feelings, Pinky R allows you to just look, there's the boundaries. That's your stuff. Um, this is my stuff. Um, and be aware of that and come from that point. Um, so it's just a, a great, and protecting you from being overwhelmed by the other person's feelings and emotions and, and that throwing you into overwhelm and, and being frazzled and not really knowing where you are. So Pinky Arrow just gives you that little buffer, that boundary. Uh, it's a great remedy, as I said, I use it in practice a lot, but particularly in relationships where there is, a, there is an emotional connection. It's going to help you um, come from a point, well, this is, this is what I need to address. This is perhaps what you could address to make this relationship work better. Pomegranate. Pomegranate uh, reminds me of when, this is many years ago, uh, when we had a baby and um, uh, my wife then, we were, I think we'd get up in the middle of the night at three o'clock to uh, attend to Samantha and we'd have a, an argument, who's got the most important day today? <laughs> Who gets up? Um, we decided to go on an alternative, alternative um, night work. I still found it. Why did she always wake up on my nights? But anyway, pomegranate is about establishing the right balance between work and family, um, whether it's with yourself or, or particularly when it's in a relationship. And we have these sort of stereotypical um, roles, I suppose, for gender over the years, which are fortunately changing. And pomegranate can certainly help in a relationship um, get that balance right. You know, I need to uh, spend this much of time and I need to work, to feel fulfilled and to make it work. Um, and that goes for both people in relationships. So a really important one, has been an important one in the last you know, few decades particularly. Particularly now women are more out in the workforce than they were 30 or 40 years ago. Scarlet monkey flower, this is another one when, often in relationships you'll have one person who can express anger easily, perhaps too easily, but it's there and the other person doesn't. And you get this sort of, the anger starts and this person shrinks away. Um, what Scarlet, and, and often we talk about, and Carl Jung used to talk about a dynamic, if someone's having difficulty expressing a particular emotion, the person that you're close to is gonna to have to express it for you. And you know, that you're not thinking in those terms when it's happening, but that's what happens. So Scarlet Monkey Flower can, can help the person who's flying off the handle too easy, come to terms and be more, be able to sit with the, you know, some of that strong, um, you know, raw fear, raw anger or whatever, and then say what they need to say. But it also, I find more importantly, can help the person who on the on the end of it who can just come to terms with it better and not and feel comfortable well you're never comfortable but to be more comfortable with it and not be distracted by it um, so that doesn't erupt more and you can just you can assert yourself and not be phased by that uh, so it's a really interesting remedy in there and I've seen a lot of relationships where that's occurred where coming to terms with the way the <clears throat> one person in the partnership actually deals deals or doesn't deal with their anger and uh, that particular emotion, which is a legitimate emotion. They're all legitimate emotions. Tiger Lily is the win-win mentality when um, you find you're just trying to get as much as you can get. So in business relationships, right through to um, you know living relationships, living together relationships, anything like that, Tiger Lily helps you come more from a Okay, I yes, I want my needs met here, but I want you to have your needs met too. We can, we can do this uh, and have that more altruistic or win-win um, attitude. <clears throat> so great remedies. And finally, if you need to spark up your relationship and things are getting too heavy, zinnia. And I will often finish with zinnia, just to lighten up. Uh, and that's been useful too in, in some relations. Just look, we're taking this too seriously. Let's have some fun. Let's have a break from the, the you know, the 24 seven um, patterns and habits we're in and just do something different and, and change the, um, you know, change the scenery. Anyway, thanks for that.